uh, donations. I believe we have representation from Suffolk County Emergency Management. No, I'm with uh, New York State Emergency Management. I'm the regional director for uh, Long Island, New York City. My name is Ted Fish. Uh, we uh, understand that there's some, some very uh, grave problems out here in Suffolk County. We did do an, an individual assistant, assistance assessment a number of weeks ago with the county based on the numbers that we had. Through our experience in this uh, situation, we understand that Legislator Romain spoke about 100 homes. The 100 home threshold is basically an unwritten rule that's put out by FEMA based on total destruction of the home. Uh, we did not have 100 homes completely destroyed without, with an uninsured loss. Through our experience, it was better to go out and, although we did the IA assessment, to immediately ask for an SBA loan, which is currently occurring at Riverhead and in Brookhaven and in the South Shore and Nassau County for individuals who were affected. We were able to get a public assistance declaration, which brings money back to the county, towns and villages, and private non-for-profits. The uh, briefings for those will be going on this week uh, at the county levels, but those are strictly for governments and private non-for-profits that had affected damage, specifically from the 13th and the 14th storm. Much of the damage here was from later in the month. We, with our experience again, went through that process and decided to go for an SBA loan. If there is further damage, we suggest that you put it in through your local governments and we'll have to reassess it at that time. Thank you very much. The storm, according to the National Weather Service, not Shirley Coverdale, was a record rainmaker. They called it a cyclone. I did not. I have a very graphic picture one page of a 22 page report that shows that we were in the epicenter of that storm. Uh, I am told that another thing that the FEMA guidelines, not statutory limitations, but guidelines suggest is that the agency is interested in specific populations, populations where there are elderly, populations of low income, populations where there are not insurance alternatives, populations where there is uh, job depression pressure, all of which I believe apply. The fact that people are still pumping out 33 days after the storm and the water is not receding is another issue which FEMA guidelines suggest should be taken into consideration given the public health danger of our drinking water and the breeding mosquito population who will probably be carrying things like E. coli since most of the flooded areas are over septic systems and not sewer lines. So I think we need to come out and have an open and frank uh, conversation and we need to pursue every avenue that we can to make sure that we don't put a band-aid on a cancer. We can't keep coming back storm after storm after storm and revisiting the same aura. I think we fired off a flare for the federal government to let them know that we're still in distress, that 33 days after this huge storm that hit Long Island, we are flooded out here on Horton and Osborne. We're flooded out in Jamesport and South Hold and Ridge, Santa Maria Riches, and particularly in Shelter Island. This was a huge storm that had a massive impact, and we're being told that all that's available is low interest loans because we haven't met the threshold of 100 destroyed homes or other artificial thresholds, and we're waiting for FEMA to come in and help some people rebuild their lives who can't afford low interest loans, who have lost everything, their furniture, their homes, who have mold growing, whose cesspools are full of water, and to assess the health threat that we face here in eastern Long Island. Have they given you a timetable at all? Uh, we keep on pushing them every day, and what it is, is everyone has limited personnel, everyone has limited time, and it's 33 days after this storm, and still, other than the offer of low interest loans, there is no other offer of assistance to individuals. Has you talked with the governor personally about this yet? I haven't talked to the governor, I have a letter off, I've spoke with Congressman Bishop's office, and we have letters off to Schumer and to Gillibrand. 
We need our federal representatives to be stronger voices. We need our federal representatives to take time out. Whatever they do in Washington, as important as it is, it's not as important as what's happening to individuals in this district. They need to take a day or two off, and we'll set up the tour of the first legislative district for them. And I'm sure my other colleagues throughout Suffolk County will give them opportunities to see firsthand, 33 days after the storm, the damage that still exists on Long Island. Homes like this, that's not going to help. Mold is growing as I speak. Their basements are flooded. They were underwater for seven or eight days. This is a situation that, that calls out, cries out for the government to step forward with some form of assistance other than low interest loans. That is not enough. It's like putting a Band-Aid, as Mrs. Coverdale said, on a cancer. It's not going to solve the problem.